Good afternoon, student. Architecture 113. Today we will start with the section 10110. 1010 through 1012, and after that, 1014. This is the chapter after midterm. So that's why I just published for you can, uh, you know, ready for reading. So not reading this one uh, until you finish the midterm. And the midterm will be on October 30, October 8th. That means the Thursday coming. So I just remind you that um, on the midterm we have 125 question, 125 point, and I will have the review in the conference Zoom for Thursday before the midterm. So that's why Thursday we have the Zoom, and after that, uh, Tuesday we have the Zoom and after that Thursday we have the midterm. I have the time to review uh, for you the midterm and maybe I give you um, around 20-25 uh, questions for you can see uh, what the midterm is exactly the same like study question and this cover from study number one until study number nine and this one one more time this is study Section number 10 is uh, after quiz, uh, after midterm. So um, you can wait until after midterm, you can read this one. The, wa the way I post on uh, the channel for you ready after midterm, you have time to read that. Okay. So in this, ch uh, in this chapter, we learn more about egressive, about the mean of egress. And uh, we will learn about the door the opening, the land, uh, the stairway, and the width from the door, for what kind of egress door, and how do you concern with the limitation for the use from this one, uh, how many um, door for the stairway, the width from the, the stair, and uh, the landing regard with the egress one. So this is one more time we learn about the mean from the egress. Uh, for example, you have the door, and the minimum height they require is 6 feet 8 inches from the height from the door, and after that, the, the minimum width for the occupant loads minimum is 32 inches, clear width, and after that, maximum 4 feet per single lift. If you have the single, then the maximum width is 4, in, 4 feet per one door, and the height from this one should be 6 feet 8 minimum. If you see from the floor, from the door, you can see that, uh, for example, this is 90 degree door. This is 90 degree. That means the door you can open 90 degree. And the minimum they request for that one is uh, 4 feet. The maximum 4 feet for the projects, that means the one you open the door. So they clear up between 34 until uh, 34 inches. That means from the if you look at elevation up to 34 inches and you can do the projects a 4 inches this is 4 inches and be below from that, that below of 34 inches you need to use for for the clearance for this one from here to here for window 90 degree we need the clearance for the minimum uh, 4 feet from a single door that the equal door the door for every people can get out in case something. So if you look at the direction right here for exit from the travel, this is the door. This one we call that's a 90 degree door because it's a 90 degree they can operate from here to here and they require the service for uh, group H occupancy. They have the load for uh, less than 50 people and you use uh, the, the door for exit like this it's just one, but sometimes you have the door it um, you know specific style from the door, and they for example this one you have the revoking door. That means the door we need to stay here and the way it's run uh, one direction, and after that go to the next step. Or oh, the power for operator door, you need to have some kind like uh, push the door out. If you have the door like that, you can have the permits for the mean of egress in the general one. This can be. 
and if you have some kind like the door with the operation from uh, you know electric something like that and uh, it's not qualified for uh, the equish door because the equish door either one is available to open or to occupy when the people need to use it it's, it it cannot be do some kind like unusual it should be assess i mean it should be available in case when they use it and you can push this or you can um, you know you can run this equish door for people inside can get out that's we call that the equish door and if you have some of the the door with the threshold on the slot on the door and you need to have that's the maximum they allow you half inches if you have some kind like the threshold right here and you need the maximum is uh, half inches max and if you have far than the threshold it's a maximum is one four for the interior wall and exterior so that's why if you have the threshold remember the maximum we allow for the different from the level inside and outside from the threshold it is half inches and if it's far than the slot one it exterior you need to have the one four inches that the different between the floor to the floor for the slot one so people when they use that equal door they cannot be you know falling down because it's so much different level and if you have um, the inside outside from the equish door they have the maximum allow for the gate for example like this you have the door they have seven inches maximum for the door can be you know uh, overlap from the wall from the level 52 entrance so this one is um, they not have bigger than seven inches different between the hang from the door to the wall same thing like that if you have the door in the hallway or in the staircase and if they have the landing they serve it for 50 more people and you look at this the edge from the wall to the edge from the door seven inch maximum different if you have the the door from the landing and the landing is look like this and they cannot be uh, seven inches more than seven inches this is the X that means the, the width from the stair and the width from the stair right here and this is the landing the door at the landing they need to have um, the distance between the, the, the door to the wall it is seven inches maximum so about the equish door they say minimum 36 inches for the opening for the landing right here they need 36 inches that's just for r2 r2 is the, the unit for two units residential but all the occupancies you need to use for 44 inches for the landing so this one for r2 36 inches minimum but if you use other occupancy and you need to use 44 inches for landing the landings is the one when you get out from the door you have some uh, the concrete slab or some of the landing material for you can uh, you know flat at this one before you go with another level if you have the staircase like this and they have the x1 for the the width from the stair and you need to have for the radius six over two that means the radius right here from here to here this is x over 2 for make sure that it's not hit with the door when they get out from landing this is another example so if you see if we have two door in the same direction and the top from the door to the wall minimum is 48 inches that means 4 feet you cannot do smaller than that that means the wall, the distance from the wall to the door. If we have two door, equal door, it's the same direction. And it should be minimum 48 inches. If you have two door, but a different direction. And the, the, I mean the distance from the wall to the wall is 48 inches minimum. This is one more time. You can see that um, for the threshold height, they give you the maximum is half inches maximum and if the in 
exterior outside the maximum they give their quarter is just maximum for the the people when they go to this one they not see the difference between the floor outside and inside outside and inside for after you go to the equipment store not so much different one inches and half inches is so small and if you have the big room like that you have two access one this one is single door access one and it is double and this door to remain unlocked if one of the people occupy inside that means the group X occupancy less than 300 F B M S occupancy they have occupied inside and the door cannot be locked they have the key lock but at that occupy they cannot lock the door they remain open for the access one same thing that's for uh, some of the rule you need to learn from if you have the latch from the the door and this a the width from that one should be bigger than half from the width from the door now this is one of um, the mean of the address the address you can see from the egress from the door the turn styles you can see some of uh, where you go to the um, uh, i mean it's from uh, the public service for example something they need a ticket and they use this one for the door they call that the third style me and this one if they have 39 inches this one we need to be the y from this one it's 39 if higher than that you can do smaller but this one they you they need to use for 39 inches in the high end limit to that one and they have 16 and a half inches clear width at the below from the 39 inches for example from the floor up to 39 inches they need 16 and a half inches why and after that after 39 inches higher you can use 22 inches that's mean in here they allow for the width in narrow than upper in the stair we need to have the rail between them and how high from the rail we have uh, the rails is a section if for example this is wider than six feet and we need the center rail for this one and we have the wall rail right here the maximum is 42 inches and if you have um, for example you have this one for elevation for each of them 44 inches minimum if the occupant loads a more than 50 people and you need 44 inches wide if lesser than that you need to use for 36 inches uh, minimum 36 inches that means 3 feet minimum more than 50 occupant you need 44 inches wide from the elevator um, from the stair sorry so that's why everything right here if you have the rail right here and they need to have four and a half inches for the distance right here or the diameter for the the stair the rail and the head room that's been the height from this one the head room from here to here is minimum 80 inches 80 inches that's mean uh, 6 feet each 6 feet each because 6 feet is 72 and 8 inches is um, 72 plus 8 so you have 80 inches that's mean the height from the floor up to the head room is, is uh, 80 inches or 6 feet each minimum if you use the stair and the running from the stair is minimum 11 inches and uh, uh, the the riser it should be seven feet uh, seven inches maximum or four inches minimum you cannot use i mean lower than four inches and you also have maximum is seven inches you cannot do higher than that you cannot do a smaller than four inches you cannot do higher than seven inches for the rise from the stair with the running or the tread you need to use for minimum 11 inches so if the stair right there you can see this one is the landing the landing x need not for example this one is the the, the landing you can um, need for 48 inches 
this one 48 inches or you can do for example this is the wide from the stair you can use the landing is a same thing with that minimum you can do bigger for example you have this is four feet or three feet uh, wide stair and this one the landing you do like that minimum you can do bigger if you have two of them uh, stairway if you have two of them and you need to see that the width required for equal capacity that means this one should be uh, if it's smaller than 30 inches and the other one same thing so totally you have 60 inches and same thing with the other one stair width beyond to 30 inches from handrail does not count um, the capacity so if you have more than 30 inches and this one the distance right here not count for the capacity that's mean the number from the people in the building so now in this case if you see the ram the ram for the wheelchair can run it up they have the landing minimum is 60 inches and after that the ram the ram run like this and you see another landing 60 inches minimum and after that continue with us if you have the bigger landing 60 minimum and after that um, you turn for the ramp up like this and you need the landing bigger a 60 in 60 inch for the square and after that run to the ramp up instead of 60 in and this one 36 or 32 for the landing so inside from the slot one if you have the door and the door should be distant with the wall is 42 inches minimum the slot can be this side for the handicap people can run on and after that we have the guardrail and the handrail guardrail and the handrail is required for this side the minimum between the door to the landings is the minimum is five feet the landing is the five feet minimum and remember 42 inches minimum between the door to the wall that required so now if the door has some kind like the step up for the surface is not the not the flat one and you need to figure out that um, the way we need to calculate this for 12 inches minimum from here and after that lower that with another level and it's 24 for the hang from the door so the curve right here for the curve for or the barrier they have um, larger than 4 inches and we need to have the distance near 12 inches minimum for extend the surface extend the surface for the people when they inside to get in they cannot change suddenly from the high from another level to lower level so that's why they require 12 inches minimum for extend the surface with the curve from maximum that's uh, 4 inches if you have 4 inches you can go like this with the current barrier and I think that's the finally you can see the rail section for the handrail section they have a diameter two and a two and quarter inches maximum for diameter from the rail and the angle they have they have one and a half minimum so the handrail you cannot use uh, larger than two and a half inches and this is the distance between the handrail to the wall is one and a half inches so that's why and the rail is 42 46 from the floor this is the section from the handrail so that's all for the chapter for today about the mean increase um, one more time this uh, chapter is ready for after midterm and the midterm we set up is on October 8 I will open the midterm at the same time like the lecture in the schedule I will open is 12 30 p.m. and at 4 30 p.m. if you submit for me the midterm before 4 30 p.m. you get up to 125 point that means maximum point but if you submit for me after that that means after 4 30 p.m. until 6 30 p.m you got up to 100 points only and the end is 4.30 or 6.30 
it's up to you. If you finish early at 4.30, you get up to 125. But if you submit from 4.30 to 6.30, you got 100 maximum. So it depends on you. And uh, I have the review on the Zoom on Tuesday. Mm. Tuesday, October 6th at 6.30 p.m. And if you go to the Zoom, you can get the credit. I review the midterm and I give you around 25, 30 questions for the midterm. So basically, I have review on the Zoom and the midterm will be on October 8th. Good luck to all of you and see you next time.